Now, what of the adventurer? She and her partners are on the cusp of the greatest archaeological find of her career. But the priceless sarcophagus she seeks may never make it out of that pyramid. And neither may her companions. But at this point in our story, that should surprise no one. You know, it's sad, really, when you think about all the grave robbers who have plundered these ancient marvels of engineering in search of priceless treasures, ruining it for future generations of grave robbing treasure plunderers. Others gave up all thought of your return. Only I held out hope. The sarcophagus is near. Soon we shall share in the glory of our discovery. Just between you and me, I don't think share is in her vocabulary. Neither is ultra crepidarian. But a lot of people don't know that one. It's not as ubiquitous as sarcophagus. Many believe the Ankh is an ancient Egyptian symbol of life. Some archaeologists would kill to find an example in such pristine condition. Oh, not the adventurer, let me assure you. She reserves such extreme measures for a worthier prize.
those spikes definitely weren't there a moment ago. It seems the adventurer's companions have gotten themselves into a tight spot. Fortunately, they have all these pressure plates to jump on. You know when you're stuck in an ancient curse-ridden death trap, it usually helps to jump on everything you can. Also screaming. Screaming helps. The situation becomes ever more perilous for our two entombed friends. Those spikes are getting awfully close. Do you think the adventurer knows? Actually, I think the real question is, does she care? In case you're wondering, that was a rhetorical question. lost sarcophagus of the Pharaoh Taharka. Ooh, great misfortune is said to fall on those who disturb his slumber. You know, locusts, boils, peanut allergies, that sort of thing. See, it's true what they say. No good deed goes unpunished. The adventurer's partners have helped her reach the treasure she desires most. But all they'll have to show for it is an upcoming case of craniopuncture. In other words, a spike to the head. This might be too gruesome for even me to watch. The adventurer does know how to get out of a tight spot, but the rest of her escape may not be so clear. Splendid! You've liberated the sarcophagus from its ancient vestibule. Give me a moment to disable these blasted spikes. 
And Englishmen would never add this many spikes. It's unseemly. I'll just push this bit to the left. Huh. No doubt that was entirely accidental. Alas, now the adventurer herself is trapped. And without the sarcophagus, her former collaborator, or her current lucky companions, I fear the situation is hopeless. I wasn't planning on wrapping up her tale so soon, but I may have little choice in the matter. Our band of three pulled together. I couldn't devise a better team building exercise myself. There was a bit of collateral damage at the end, but let's call it a win. <laughs> <laughs>